How does it feel for you? Has it flown past? It's went by like the wind. <laughs> We've had a lot of things, a lot of nice things happening in between. Following her remarkable performance on Britain's Got Talent, Susan Boyle achieved a level of success that was beyond her wildest dreams. In the beginning, she was not the most popular choice, but her commanding voice completely changed everything. She achieved a great deal of success in her professional life, including becoming the champion of America's Got Talent, and her wealth surpassed $45 million. Then, all of a sudden, she disappeared from the eyes of the public. We invite you to join us as we investigate the singer's story and discover more about what happened to her. Susan Boyle is living proof that one should never judge a book by its cover. She is going from strength to strength. It was on April 1, 1961, that Susan Boyle was born. While her mother, Bridget Boyle, was employed as a shorthand typist, her father, Patrick Boyle, was a minor in one, two, and sang. Her mother was also a singer. Susan was raised in a council house in West Lothian, Scotland, where she currently resides. She has four older brothers and six older sisters she shared with her siblings. Susan's love for music was the only thing that brought her some sense of peace, even though she was rejected at school. In addition to being a member of the choir at her parish church, she was also an active participant in the local talent searches and ultimately emerged victorious in those competitions. In spite of the fact that her mother strongly encouraged her to try out for Britain's Got Talent, Susan decided against it because she believed that she was too old. It was a pleasure to watch Susan on television, but she was unable to audition for the show when it first began in 2004. However, in 2008, she finally tried out for the role after her mother passed away in 2007. From the time her mother was ill until the time she passed away, she had been her mother's carer. Up until this point, she had never given a performance in front of an audience. During the episode of Britain's Got Talent that was broadcast in Glasgow, Susan stunned both the judges and the audience with her vocal rendition of the song, I Dreamed a Dream. The chorus of her performance received a strong applause from the audience. As she continues to point out that people look down on her because of her beauty, Amanda Holden stated that it was the most significant wake-up call that she has ever experienced. After that, famous people like Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher began tweeting their support for Susan Boyle, who was better known by her stage name. This came after she achieved success all over the world. It was her audition video that went viral on YouTube, and it ended up receiving the most views of any video on the platform. Susan began her new life as an artist, joining her fellow contestants on tour and working on her debut album. Despite the fact that she finished in second place in the competition and encountered early difficulties due to exhaustion, numerous people were motivated by Susan's story, which demonstrated that dreams can be realized at any age. Her first studio album, titled I Dreamed a Dream, was released in November 2009 and quickly became a commercial success, selling more than 2 million copies across the globe in its first week of release. The album continues to hold the record for the fastest-selling debut album ever recorded by a female artist. Starting from the very beginning, Susan's dream appeared to be as far away as the stars. Bridget, her mother, was 47 years old when she gave birth to her daughter, making her the youngest of six sisters and four brothers. Bridget had limited resources to care for another child. Susan was deprived of oxygen for a brief period of time during the birthing process, which according to what she was told, was the cause of her learning disabilities. The birthing process was nearly life-threatening. Later on, when she was at the pinnacle of her career, she made a discovery that was completely unexpected regarding her diagnosis. A difficult experience for Susan was her time spent in school. Both her classmates and her teachers were relentless in their bullying of her. In an interview that was full of emotion, she revealed how challenging it was to keep up with a system that placed a premium on speed and rapid learning. I was a slow learner, she said about me. Because I am a little slower than other people at picking things up, you end up falling behind in a system that wants to move forward as quickly as possible. Do you know what I mean? That was the sensation that I had that I was experiencing. When her teachers saw that she was having difficulty in school, they cruelly punished her by giving her a belt. The fact that her classmates referred to her as Susie Simple and insulted her on a regular basis made school the most difficult period of her life. Her self-development was stunted, and she faced additional challenges in her academic journey as a result of intimidation and physical punishment. By performing on Britain's Got Talent, Susan was able to subtly demonstrate to her tormentors that she was capable of accomplishing great things 
in spite of their cruel treatment of her. Her performance was a satisfying act of retribution. She went on to compose and perform the song You'll See on her debut album, which was a song that served as a reminder to her bullies that she had succeeded in spite of their lack of compassion. However, her journey was not a simple one. In 2011, Susan disclosed a tragic situation that occurred during her childhood. Besides the learning disorder that had not yet been identified, she also suffered from epilepsy. The correct diagnosis had been provided by the medical professionals. However, those who were closest to Susan, including her parents and teachers, were unable to tolerate the epileptic condition. Unfortunately, Susan's parents and teachers were not aware of how to deal with her epilepsy, despite the fact that the doctors had made an accurate diagnosis. It is not uncommon for musicians to suffer from this condition. Lil Wayne, Neil Young, and Sir Elton John are all examples of people who suffer from epilepsy. The diagnosis, on the other hand, was handled in a very poor manner in Susan's case. She recalled that she frequently experienced seizures while she was at school, which provided her bullies with additional ammunition. Her classmates would gather around her after she regained consciousness, call her names, and laugh at her. She would pass out during class, and when she did, they would laugh at her. At home, the situation was not significantly better. Whenever she was experiencing an episode, her parents would overprotect her, and if the problem became too difficult to manage, they would abandon her and let her figure things out on her own. Her father would refer to her as touchy whenever she requested additional assistance. It was generally believed that Susan's epilepsy was connected to her learning disabilities. However, this was not the case, and as a result, the condition was not treated. The fact that Susan graduated from school with a dearth of qualifications should not come as a surprise. Because of her lack of qualifications and the fact that she did not have a learning disability diagnosed, she had a difficult time finding work. Susan claims that she applied to a number of different places, but unfortunately, she did not receive a callback or was unsuccessful after her initial interview. She was eventually able to secure a position at West Lothian College as a trainee cook, but her employment there lasted for only six months. She was primarily required to transition from one government training program to another without having a secure job or a substantial amount of income. She found happiness and solace in performing at local venues, which was the extent of her musical career until a tragic loss pushed her to pursue a dream she had never dared to pursue before. Despite these challenges, she found joy and satisfaction in performing. In spite of the fact that she had a difficult family life, Susan Boyle was a firm believer in selflessness and forgiveness. During her time on Britain's Got Talent, she famously stated that she had never been married and had never been kissed at any point in her life. She did not have much growing up and was not a romantic. Significant choices in her life were made as a result of her modesty and decency. Following the death of her father, all of her siblings eventually moved out of their council house, which consisted of four bedrooms, leaving behind their elderly, physically ill, and frail mother. Pebbles, Susan's teenage cat, and Susan were the only ones who remained. Susan has embraced the simplicity of her life by continuing to reside in the house she grew up in, despite the fact that she has grown to become a world-class musical artist and has earned millions of dollars. Susan Boyle would not come out for three or four days after the death of her mother, Bridget Boyle, and she would not answer the door or the phone. This was mentioned by a neighbor. Susan is a devout follower of the Roman Catholic faith. She is a member of the choir at her church, and she volunteered her time by paying visits to senior members of the congregation in their homes. During an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show that aired in 2010, she described her life prior to becoming famous as being repetitive and unremarkable. Susan received a diagnosis of Asperger syndrome in 2012, and she disclosed this information to the public in an interview with the BBC in December of 2013. Epilepsy is another condition that she suffers from. During the month of November in 2012, she responded to a question about internet dating by joking that she was too afraid to do so. She stated, If you knew my luck, I would go out on a date and you would find my limbs scattered around various Blackburn dustbins. Susan gave her support to the Better Together campaign in July 2013, which aimed to maintain Scotland's status as a member of the United Kingdom during the independence referendum that took place in 2014. According to her, 
Although I am a proud and patriotic Scot who is passionate about my heritage and country, I do not consider myself to be a nationalist. She continued by saying that despite being a part of Britain, we have managed to keep our proud identity. Despite the fact that Susan does not consume alcohol, she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes for the first time in June of 2013. It was reported in the media in November 2014 that she was dating a man who frequently asserted that he was her first boyfriend and that the two of them were nearly the same age overall. In the year 2022, she experienced a mild stroke, which she later disclosed during an episode that aired on June 4, 2023, following a performing performance on Britain's Got Talent. Why do you think Susan Boyle continues to live in the same house she did when she was a child up until the present day? Susan Boyle's appearance on Britain's Got Talent was shunned because she did not have any fancy attire, despite the fact that she had a kind-looking face. However, her beautiful voice stunned everyone, including the judges from the competition. The transition from the horrifying scenes of bullying to the one in which she receives a standing ovation before, during, and after her performance garnered attention from all over the world. Within a week, Susan's audition went viral, and the video clip that captured her performance was viewed more than 100 million times. There was a widespread dissemination of compilations of her earlier performances, including her performance at the Crimea River in 1999. Throughout the course of the show, Susan struggled with the challenges of being sick and exhausted. In spite of this, she achieved a remarkable final standing, which ultimately resulted in her coming in second place, closely behind the dance troupe diversity. However, she had triumphed over the most significant conflict of her life. In order to gain the approval of the public, the government increased spending on defense. Many individuals came to the realization that they should never give up on their dreams, regardless of how old they are. As a result of the events that were depicted in Susan's episode, her debut studio album titled I Dreamed a Dream was brought out in November of 2009 and was an enormously successful release. One of the debut albums by a female artist that sold the most copies in the shortest amount of time, as soon as it was released, it broke the record for sales in the United Kingdom by selling more than 2 million copies across the globe in the first week. In addition to this, it achieved the feat of becoming the album that sold the most copies in the pre-sales on Amazon. The success of the album was undeniable, and I Dreamed a Dream was able to establish itself as the record that sold the most copies worldwide in the year that it was released, with over 9 million copies being sold. This was confirmed by Billboard News, which stated that it had the highest first week sales for an album by a female artist who was just starting out, according to SoundScan's records from 1991. As a result of this success, Susan Boyle established a Guinness record for the fastest selling debut album of a female artist, the record for the highest first week sales, and the record for the oldest person to reach the highest record for a debut album in the United Kingdom. All of these records were set in the wake of this success. Susan's powerful voice and motivational story reverberated all over the world, but especially in the United States. She was a contestant on America's Got Talent, where she received a lot of positive feedback. Those days of weakening one's position are long gone. Susan was no longer afraid of her success and embraced it wholeheartedly. She was not a bystander in her own life. Rather, she was someone who thoroughly embraced the world that was all around her. The main character, Susan, was having a great time and was having a good time with her life. Her subsequent albums, The Gift, 2010, and Someone to Watch Over Me, 2011, were both released after the success of her first album, which she released in 2010. After a brief absence, she made her comeback in 2012 with the release of a joyful album titled Standing Ovation, which featured the best songs from her stage performances. Two years later, in 2016, she released A Wonderful World, which was followed by another groundbreaking record titled Hope after two years had passed. She had been working on her music on a consistent basis, but due to her advanced age and other health issues, Susan decided to take an indefinite break. There were many people who believed that Susan's career in music had come to an End. However, in 2019, she surprised her fans by celebrating a decade with an album titled 10, 
which contained the very best of her performances. She once again defied all expectations and left her mark on the music industry thanks to her success. But along with her successes came a sense of melancholy. The devoted followers of Susan couldn't help but notice that the devastating diagnosis she received had brought about a significant transformation in her. In spite of the fact that she has a lot to offer, she has decided that she would rather live a quiet life away from the glitz and glamour. While she has achieved a great deal of success, there is a trace of tragedy. Sue reflected on her work and said, I had a lot of fun making the album, and I hope the public enjoys it as much as I enjoyed it. Susan was referring to the album that she had created. We are about to reveal some heartbreaking revelations that will change everything you thought you knew about Susan Boyle's journey. If you thought that the success arc of Susan Boyle was surprising, then you should brace yourself because we are about to reveal these changes. Are you able to view Susan's story differently as a result of these revelations? Well, let's find out. Susan Boyle had recently risen to the top of the world rankings after appearing on Britain's Got Talent. However, the extensive and rigorous training regimen left her exhausted. While she was pleased with her singing, she was not yet familiar with fame. Immediately after her appearance on the show, she had a difficult time keeping up with the demanding routine of interviews, smiling for the paparazzi, and dealing with harsh and rude critics. Although Susan's reputation preceded her, she did not emerge victorious from the competition, and she was required to be admitted to the hospital immediately following the conclusion of the show. She was becoming physically fragile as a result result of the media scrutiny that she had been subjected to for the past five weeks. At a later time, it was disclosed that Susan had experienced a mental breakdown. As a result of her failure to receive a sufficient number of votes from the general public, she became angry with the manager of the show, despite the fact that she possessed an extraordinary amount of talent. Susan was said to have hurled water at a member of the staff while yelling that she detested the show, according to rumors that circulated on the set. That evening, the staff at her London home reported her peculiar your behavior to the authorities when they called the police. After a few hours had passed, Susan was required to be admitted to a facility that provides mental health care. The news of her breakdown quickly spread, and it was revealed that the producers of Britain's Got Talent had ignored Susan's fragile mental and physical health leading up to the final. This was revealed after the news of her breakdown spread quickly. Ofcom, the media regulator in the United Kingdom, had the intention of initiating an investigation into the show to put ratings ahead of the health of the participating individuals. However, the idea was ultimately abandoned. Susan was able to learn from this experience that she should be more relaxed about her music schedule. However, she was unable to do so because she had a demanding touring schedule ahead of her. In spite of this, she gave an outstanding performance to her fans while she was currently working on her music. When Susan was finally able to receive an accurate diagnosis of her learning disability in 2013, she experienced yet another significant setback in her professional life. Contrary to popular belief, however, there was no actual damage to the brain. Regarding her younger self, a conclusion was reached that was incorrectly diagnosed. Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism spectrum disorder, was identified as the condition that the singer was diagnosed with. Hearing a revelation of this nature was a devastating experience. However, on the other hand, it was also a fortunate outcome. For a number of years, Susan had been under the impression that a relatively minor complication that occurred during her birth had resulted in her suffering from permanent damage. When she thought back on her time spent in school, she imagined that she had a lot of bad luck. The diagnosis of Asperger's disorder, on the other hand, made it possible for her to receive the appropriate treatment for the very first time in her life. During an interview with The Guardian, Susan disclosed that she has always experienced a sense of being cruel and unfair when she was labeled as having brain damage. She had a way of doing things that were unique to her, but she was aware that she was similar to everyone else. Additionally, she had the hope that her diagnosis would inspire people to more compassionately treat individuals who are neurodiverse. According to what she said, following the courageous disclosures, Susan received a great deal of support from both fans and critics. People admired her sincerity and straightforwardness when discussing the events that occurred in her life, which is a quality that many famous people try to avoid. As if this weren't enough, Susan was also compelled to give up her one and only vice in the same year, which was her fascination with eating chocolate. The fact that she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes made this situation all the more complicated. Susan had to contend with a new way of life while simultaneously adjusting to autism, despite the fact that the diagnosis came at the right time. 
As time went on, when the pandemic struck, she was forced to take additional precautions in order to safeguard herself against the infectious COVID-19 virus, which resulted in yet another rift in her musical career. She was required to remain at home and refrain from interacting with individuals who might have been able to assist her in recording another album that would have been groundbreaking for at least two and a half years. There were other aspects of Susan's life besides the public's support and the success of her albums. Even at home, things were going poorly. Her earnings allowed her to purchase a home for herself in the year 2010. However, a group of rowdy individuals made her life a living hell by hurling rocks, attempting to break into her home, and throwing paper that was lit on fire at her residence. In the end, she went back to the house where she had spent her childhood and handed over her luxurious residence to her niece. Although she was generally depressed about these experiences, Susan was forced to take a short break before making her comeback in 2015. This was due to the illness of her sister. Susan experienced a great deal of emotional distress as a result of the past of her sister Bridie, who unfortunately passed away at the age of 73 due to cancer. Bridie was Susan's closest relative. In addition to that, Susan was responsible for the education of Bridie's daughter. Following Susan's meteoric rise to fame, Bridie had been a sister who had been supportive in many different ways. When Susan was being scrutinized by the media for arbitrary reasons such as her appearance, she stood by her side and helped her remain grounded at a time when success seemed to follow her virtually everywhere. During the ugly feud that Susan was having with their brother Jerry, Bridie was Susan's protector. The fact that Susan was successful meant that she had millions of dollars in her bank account, and everyone, including her siblings, wanted a piece of that success. When Susan made the decision to assist Jerry by providing him with 75,000 pounds in order to save his failing business, the problem immediately arose. Susan stated that Jerry had threatened to take his own life if she did not give him the check, and this was in response to the fact that her other siblings had taken issue with this occurrence. Because of this, there was a disagreement between them, and Jerry made a public accusation that Susan had lied. On the other hand, Susan's public breakdown at Heathrow Airport in 2016 would bring the siblings back together, resulting in a satisfying conclusion to their conflict. The unfortunate truth is that Susan Boyle's health problems have not been resolved. The fact that she had suffered a mild stroke in May of 2022 became public knowledge, and as a result, she found it even more difficult to complete her musical compositions. After giving a remarkable performance on the stage of Britain's Got Talent, where she was given the opportunity to sing with the cast of Les Miserables from the West End, she shared this heartfelt news with the audience. After suffering a minor stroke in April of last year, Susan stated that it was significant for her to return to the stage. She said, I thought it would be crazy to be back on stage, but I've done it. Susan's return to the stage represented a significant accomplishment. Earlier that evening, she posted a message on Instagram informing her followers that in order to perform her well-known song, I Dreamed a Dream, she had to go through a significant amount of speech rehearsal. Despite the fact that she is experiencing a variety of health issues, she is still pursuing a career in music. Her efforts have paid off successfully. The phenomenal Susan Boyle continues to perform for her fans whenever she has the will and energy to do so, despite the fact that she continues to avoid the public eye for the most part. This is despite the fact that she suffered a stroke that caused her plans for new music to be delayed. In recent times, Susan has expressed that one of her greatest regrets is that she does not have any children. Nevertheless, she does have a covert life that involves an American beau, the identity of whom is unknown even to the media circles that are most interested in investigating the matter. When she was speaking to the Mirror in 2016, she mentioned that she was having a casual conversation with an American physician, but that they were not serious at the time. Since then, there have been reports in the media that Susan is currently in a relationship that is both happy and stable. Nevertheless, she does not intend to make her partner publicly known or to get married in the near future. On rare occasions, such as her birthday, her boyfriend does accompany her but that is the only information that is known about her romantic and romantic relationships. Her fans were eagerly anticipating the release of new music prior to her major appearance on the show. In the meantime, we are patiently waiting for Susan Boyle to embark on her next musical endeavor. She continues to be a gift that keeps on giving.